The instinct to go upstream is really strong in these fish. So we know they're in the system, and we know given the opportunity they, they would pass the dam if the flows and the conditions were right. I think it'd be great to have, have salmon running through the town of Troy again. Well, about 10 or 12 years ago, um, we had a contract with Bonneville Power Administration to do a survey of the Paulette River system to find out where the steelhead were. Um, we subcontracted that to the Idaho Department of Fish and Game. They did a survey over a couple of years and they found that the West Fork of the Little Bear, which is where we're standing right now, had a lot of fish, a lot of wild steelhead, not hatchery rays, but wild steelhead. And this system was really not very well understood. And we were very surprised to find out that a lot of these really small streams that even go dry in the summer produce large numbers of steelhead. And so one of the um, impediments that they found to where the fish were being distributed was the dam structure that we're working on right now. It, it's a old relic that uh, at one time it served a little bit of purpose, but now it, it has no purpose whatsoever. Um, the city of Troy owns this property. Um, they were under no obligation to continue on if they felt that it was too expensive, too complicated for them. Well, through the Idaho Office of Species Conservation, the Bonneville Power Administration, and the Idaho Department of Environmental Quality, we found enough funding to begin the project. This particular sub-basin is part of the Potlatch River drainage, and the Potlatch River drainage is a major stronghold for Snake River steelhead in general. There's, there's a lot of good habitat there. They don't have access to all of it, but there's a lot of good historic habitat. Um, that could provide a lot of recovery benefit for the species. Well, the initial issue is what to do here. Uh, dam removal is one option, but there was another option is put a fish ladder in here. We, we evaluated several different ladder types to see if maybe one of those would be better than disrupting this valley. Uh, but in the end, we came to the conclusion that this was really the only solution. What we're hoping to see here, um, as far as distributing that spawning area, is the, the system actually upstream into the forested environment is actually perennial. So we're hoping that access will get uh, fish out of an intermittent system into a perennial system where there's actually summer rearing habitat. And so the production and productivity goes up. So I think by next summer, or within a year, a year or two, I'm sure we would see a good response in the system. And we think it's gonna be highly successful because others that are interested in this type of work um, can use this as a model to partner and know that you can do significant work for the Endangered Species Act through a non-regulatory mechanism. So I think BPA's role is to help these kinds of projects get implemented, but the long-term responsibility and pride really in these projects rests with the, the property owner and the local municipality and the Leitah Soil and Water Conservation District. They do all the, the real grunt work and the real ground work in getting these projects implemented. You know, I. I've talked to a lot of old timers I've lived around here for a long time and, and they all talk about how the, the steelhead used to run up through Troy uh, and you know we've never seen it in our lifetime and uh, it would be amazing just to see something like that that's, that's been gone.